so tough you, guy. Do you miss it, Chuck? How's it been for you? Uh, of course I miss it. I mean, I, I, I still, it's not, it was a tough decision. I mean, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't like I was getting beat by people. I still could, I still could compete with, with people. I still, uh, you know, I was just, I just can't take, I can't take a punch like I used to. And, you know, that, that was, means it's time to stop. I, I tried to take a year off between my fights last time and I thought maybe that'd help, but it, but it didn't quite, it didn't quite do it. So, um, I didn't get hit by a shot that shouldn't, shouldn't have knocked me out and it did. So. Yeah, that's, that means it's time to time to hang it up. What are you doing now? You're working with the UFC. We heard it was you were the you were the the, uh, the official title. Dana said you were the captain of fun or something. But what? Uh, no, that, that was a joke title for me. That, that, that's what he said I should do. But uh, no, it's a uh, new business business development. I do work on a lot of different projects with them, doing different things. Uh, new thing, anything new that they want me to work on, I, I work with them. So. Just whatever they need. And you have a new addition to the family, I hear. Yes, I do. Beautiful little girl. Little, what's her name, dear? Guinevere Bella. Okay. And when was that? When was she born? How long ago? Uh, January 6th. Oh, okay. Right. In Mexico, we are starting to know in this sport, and some people say that it's so violent. How can you describe it and say it about well, it? I mean, you know, I mean, we're for a place where the boxing so uh, so popular. I, I don't see why you call MMA violent, uh, um, but. Uh, I mean, it's it's it's, a, it's a ch more of a chess match, you know. It's, it's not, you know, boxing is more like checkers. You only have a few moves. You got to move around. You got to exchange more punches. You got to you put, give your guy a better chance to hit you. This is more of a chess match. There's more, a lot more moves. There's a lot more things to know. There's, it's a lot more. Di lot, I think a lot more difficult. It, it takes all the elements of boxing and adds a bunch more. Um, and uh, you know, it's actually safer on the opponent. You, you guys are the, the long term, the long term damage to guys is, is a lot safer. All right, and finally, uh, you got a message for the Mexican fans from the UFC? Uh, uh, man, I you know, hope you love it. I mean, it's, it's, it's the best sport in the world. You guys are going to love it. Just keep watching. All right. Thank you, Chuck. Chuck, you've been working out. You're looking pretty good shape. For... Yeah, I'm trying to stay in shape. I'm trying to get back in shape. I took a little time when the baby's being born to have a lot of things going on. So anyway, but I'm getting back in shape and uh, still working with, uh, you know, I still like working with guys and trying to help guys get ready. So. If I'm not in shape, uh, it gets a little tiring of working with guys. So, is it frustrating for you sometimes because you were so outstanding and you're trying to work with people? Maybe if they don't pick it up as quickly as you think you know, they should. Usually, the guys I'm working with, if they, I figure if they're not picking it up, I don't. I'm not explaining it right. Okay. I, you know, I learned that on the first Ultimate Fighter. You know, I'm working with some really good guys. You know, I was working with Forrest Griffin, and you know, he's, he's a great, great guy. He knows stuff well. And I, he's not getting what I'm showing him, so I was like, man. I gotta be. Oh, okay. That's the fine point I'm missing because that'll make it work. And I showed it to him and it worked. So it's one of those things. That I feel the guys I work with, if they're not getting it, it's my fault. I need to learn. How, I need to. I learn how to learn how to explain what I'm doing or ex figure out what I'm doing better. You th are you the happiest working with people? I know you have the other job with the UFC, but do you think your your role will be maybe as a trainer in the future? Uh, in the future, yeah, uh, we have more time time to do it. But I, yeah, I still I enjoy working with guys. I really enjoy working with guys that are good and making them and uh, helping them. It's not, it's fun to watch a guy. You showed a few little pointers and we use a few, few things you showed him. You like watching him uh, do it in a fight. It made, it's real fun for me. You know, it's, oh, see, all right, he got it, perfect. That worked for him. So. Last time we saw you, you were working on some uh, Hawaii Five-O work. How's the acting going? Oh, it's it's good. That was fun. I I, I know some of the, the stunt guys on the, on the show. They got they called me and asked if I wanted to do it last minute, but it, it was fun. I had a good time. Chuck, uh, I'm from Brazilian Digital Channel. Talk about the Brazilians' influence on your career, your MMA career. Um, the Brazilians' influence. Uh, uh, you know, I, I trained with John John Lewis uh, for jiu-jitsu. Um, you know, but and, uh, you know, he's with you know, Nomeniao, which is Andre Pedneris, and, you know, uh, mm -hmm. so, uh, I mean, uh, obviously, uh, you know, they, they changed the sport, yeah, I know they changed uh, fight, fighting, you know, they brought, bring the M, bring, uh, bring, uh, the Ultimate Fighting Championship to the U.S. Uh, when we started doing it, you know, I, I think you've seen more, more uh, evolution of, of fighting and martial arts uh, over the last, you know, what, 15 years than you had seen in, uh, in, in the last 50. You know, styles got a lot, got real bad about locking up, or we just, or now you just got to do it like we they taught back 50 years ago, which makes no sense to me because 50 years ago, you know, my my original karate style, you know, they they're or you got to stay traditional now. Well, he the founder of our style, he combined other styles that he learned and put it together into one style, and it kind of it worked. So not not adjusting and not you know so evolving, and, and now I don't know uh, a good karate school that doesn't teach Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Muito bom.
Chuck, the first thing about Abby Stone, what do you think King Velasquez has done for the Latino community into this sport and has he diversified and brought in a lot of community, a lot of big Latinos into this UFC sport that's growing big? In the well, I hope he has brought in a lot of big I mean, I don't know. I'm doing statistics, so I don't it's know. But uh, uh, King, King's a great fighter. He's a great guy. Uh, you know, Do you more questions? I, I got caught that last fight. I think I'd like to see him do it again. I'd like to get another shot at it. So um, he's a great fighter. He'll keep coming out, keep getting better. He's he's a pretty guy. You know, I've I, I met him and started. I trained him a little bit back when he had his fourth fight. I only had four fights, and he's come a long way. He's gotten a lot better. He's just gonna get better. He's, uh, he's uh, an outstanding fighter. Do you think he can have a, a rematch with Jordan Santos? Will be a good show for the people. I, I think a rematch will be different. I think it'll it'll be a good show. It's gonna be it'll be, be a, a lot of different fight. What do you think of Dos Santos's power? Because you were a guy that could hit, you know, be a great striker. Um, I've seen I've seen a few of his fights, uh, but it looks like he's got he's got right, he's got hammers on both hands. So he's got he's got explosive power on both hands, and he's a dangerous man. Um, why guys st choose to stand with him, uh, stand there and stand with him, with, with, with just stand in front of him? I, you know, I don't know, but uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a he's a tough man. Thank you, Chuck. We appreciate.